Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Sawyer Hartman and today I'm going to introduce you to my world of advanced Lightroom photo editing presets so you can go from editing a photo maybe one every 10 minutes to cranking out professional level edits within seconds. So let's just kick off today's video because I am super stoked to make it. You know what I loved about shooting on film cameras is all you had to focus on was taking the best image possible. And based on whatever film you were shooting on in your camera, that would dictate the color that was in your images. It meant you don't have to spend hours at night editing photos, which meant you got to spend more time taking photographs. So how can we have a similar experience today while shooting on digital cameras? If you don't know what a Lightroom preset is, it's kind of like the filters on Instagram. They're just a lot more in depth and at a professional level. Now I have made two Lightroom preset packs before in the past, but this pack is unlike anything I've ever been able to create before. Instead of just creating filters for a camera, I did something kind of cool. As a lot of you know, a couple months back, I went from shooting on Canon and Sony cameras to shooting on Leica. Now, Leica cameras have a very distinct, beautiful look and color, which is primarily why they cost so much money. But that got me thinking, why can't you get the same look of my Leica on your Canon, Sony, Fuji, or Nikon? <clears throat> and well, this question is exactly why I set out to make this smart Lightroom preset pack. I spent weeks shooting hundreds of different photos across tons of cameras trying to get the color to match my Leica. It was hard work, but after a while the images did start to look perfect. And because of this, I decided to call it Sawyer's Leica Looks. I also want to thank the hundreds of people who have already downloaded the pack. Your photos look incredible on Instagram and my family thanks you for supporting us. So anyway, quickly before we start, this is how you import them. Once you download the pack from the website, you just open up Lightroom and on the left hand side, there's a little plus sign. You click that and select import presets, then select the files that were in your download and boom, you're done. They'll appear in a little folder on the side and you only have to do this once and your presets will always be right there in Lightroom waiting for you. So without further ado, let's move into the first preset, which is actually my favorite. It's called Portra 400 and it's based off my favorite film in the world, Portra 400. Now, you've seen me use this preset on almost every single photo on my Instagram for the last three months, but the idea behind this preset was simple. A Portra 400 film look that when applied to any photo will make it look incredible. All we do is select our image and then click Portra 400. Now, with just the one click, our, our photo already looks great, but there are two things that you can do to make it perfect. One, adjust the exposure so that the photo is properly exposed. And secondly, adjust the white balance so that it's properly white balanced. Now, like I said, this preset is actually designed to work on any photo you have. So the idea behind it is you can go shoot an entire day's worth of photos, come home, apply Portrait 400 to your entire camera roll, and it'll be exactly like you just shot a roll of film. Boom. How cool is that? The second preset in the pack is called Leica Monochrome and it was created to perfectly reproduce the world famous black and white image Leica has become known for. The cool thing about this preset is again, it's created to work on absolutely any photo you may take. And let's be honest, I mean, most photos actually usually look better in black and white anyway. I've even been posting full black and white series on my Instagram using this preset and I'm pretty freaking happy with how they turned out. If you've ever wanted to shoot beautiful black and white or currently already shoot black and white, this is probably going to be the preset you want to have because it's just the bee's knees. For real, you can Google it. Now the next preset in the pack is probably the most dramatic of them all. It's called Golden Boy for the golden skin tones it's able to reproduce. It just has a very interesting way of making the subject pop with these very warm soft golden skin tones and all of the background and stuff just kind of fades away. It also does a lot for color separation as you can see in some of the greens and yellows of this image here. Now if you apply Golden Boy to your image and it looks warm, all you have to do is adjust the white balance and you're done. This filter has quickly become one of my favorites for any shots with people in it or shots of friends because with one click, you can make your photo look like it was shot during the perfect time of day. Plus your friends will be pretty stoked that they look so dope. The Traveler was created to literally enhance any travel photo you could possibly have. Now, not only does it increase the dynamic range of the image, but it also balances all of the colors and enhances them to be really vibrant and crisp while still shifting them so that they just kind of match. Photography is a lot about tones and you'll hear me use the word match. 
tones in an image should match. Now, as you can see, this preset takes like a normal dull photo and, and just brings it to life. Again, this preset might not be for everybody, but if you love travel and very vibrant, beautiful lifestyle photos, then this is exactly for you. Now, the next filter is very specific. In fact, it's the only filter in the pack that is not created for every single photo you may take. It's called orange and teal lamography, and lamography is a very stylized, dramatic style of photography that uses a lot of teal and orange. When it's applied to a normal photo, it will give that very stylized lamography feel. But here's the real reason I included it in the pack. When this filter is applied to a nighttime shot, it doesn't look like lamography at all. As you can see on this shot of Usher, when we apply the filter, it enhances all the colors in the image, but still gives us that orange and teal feel that is so hard to create. Now this probably won't be the filter you use every single day, but when it works, it works. The next preset is called flat film, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Inspired by the soft images I grew up seeing in photo albums and in magazines, this preset aims to really deliver you a perfectly balanced matte film look. The flat film look softens light, enhances skin tones, but also gives a very subtle colored tint to your image that can really only be found in old film photos. This preset is literally gonna be your go-to if you've ever tried to get that matte photo look like some of my favorite creators on Instagram. And if you wanna change the color of the tint on the photo, just mess with the tint and the white balance and boom, you're pretty much done. Now, the next preset's actually the opposite of like a monochrome and I call it punchy black and white because it does exactly that. This preset's based around that high fashion black and white magazine feel that I love so much. There's really something about the dramatic contrast between a solid black and a crisp white that just like breathes a new life into photography. But between the Leica monochrome preset and the punchy black and white, like all of your black and white bases are covered. Just experiment with this one and you'll literally find awesome ways to use it in no time. Now, the second to last preset in the pack is rightfully called Old Faithful. Shadows are brightened, color tones are complementary to one another. Unlike the other presets in this pack, Old Faithful actually works different on every single photo, depending on what colors are appearing within that image, hence why we called it Old Faithful, because it literally works on everything. Now, the final preset in the pack is very, very special. It's called Kodak 400. But Kodak 400 is not intended to create an image that wasn't there before. We developed Kodak 400 to give you a timeless film style that literally looks as natural as possible. It gives us a soft, sun-kissed skin tone while at the same time creating a matte film-like image. All the colors are balanced in a way that makes it feel like it was shot on pure film. You can tell a lot of this preset pack is about getting back to our roots in film. Instagram is littered with oversaturated images or images that are just colored way too far. This entire preset pack is about having a perfectly balanced film style to your images that just looks real. They look like real film and, and real photographs and we're real photographers, so we need the tools to have real looking photographs. I have no idea how long this video has been, but that is the final walkthrough of all nine of the presets in my new Sawyer's Leica Looks preset pack. It has been a huge journey trying to create this product and I'm so excited that I was actually able to do it. I'm hoping that these filters give you guys the tools and inspiration to get out there and keep creating at a higher and higher level until we're all just following you on Instagram asking how you did it. But again, I wanna thank everyone who supports not only me and this channel and the products we create, but my art form and, and the inspiration we try to cultivate on this channel. We're all creators here. It's a safe spot and I really wanna see you guys creating at the highest level possible because you guys keep pushing me to create higher and higher and well, you're the only reason that I've learned all of the skills that I have. So thank you. Also, if you do download the preset pack and edit some of your photos with it, when you post them on Instagram, make sure to use hashtag Sawyer's Leica looks so I can find them and reshare them, post them on my stories because a lot of you guys are a lot more talented than me. You just need the opportunity to get your voice heard. So if I could be the one to help do that, I would be honored. So if you want the opportunity to try to win these presets for free as well, just go down to the comments and tell me a little bit about yourself, your photography, why you love it, how you started. Just 
be personable. And I'll be choosing a couple of you guys at random to get this pack for free. And well, that's it. So until next time, I want to say stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. And I'll see you beautiful people next Sunday. Have a great day. Peace. I'm far away from the camera today. Three, two, one, credits.